I was looking at your record collection. Mm -hmm. I was wondering where the Hendrix records are. Uh, a lot of them are over there, but let's see. All these. All those? Yeah. I used to be like, in seventh grade, I would walk into music stores and just everybody would think I was an amazing guy because I was about this tall and I could play all these Hendrix songs. Oh, really? You know? Yeah. But, uh, you know, you, there comes a time when your own music is more important to you than anybody else's music. And I feel like, like, uh, just, like I feel that with Jimi Hendrix, I feel that it, his life, his lifestyle, and the women in his life affected his music more so than other musicians did. You know, because that's how free his playing sounds like. When you hear Jimi Hendrix play, it's a pure expression of him as a person. You see him on stage, and there's absolutely no separation between him and his guitar. They're completely one, because he's just putting every single bit of everything in his whole psyche and every single part of his body into his guitar playing. Jimi Hendrix, at one point, just stopped playing guitar altogether. He, he just used to lie around and daydream because he said the music he heard in his head he couldn't get on his guitar, so he would just lie down and dream about it. This is when he first walked in to the studio to uh, do the song Electric Ladyland. And you will hear on this recording the engineer asking him uh, what the name of the song was. And it's Electric Ladyland in a very primitive state. There's only guitar is the only instrument on it. And he's just playing it acoustically. Oh, shit. Hold on. The guy said, what is it called? And he said, electric lady. Uh -huh. Uh, Jimi Hendrix threw away bad ideas just like everybody else, but but I just think that thing's one of the most beautiful things I've ever heard. It's definitely my favorite live recording I've ever heard of him, and it's probably my favorite album just to listen to, because uh, even though he was in a really bad mood that night, it came across in his playing, you know, and, and his playing just sounds so angry, it affects me, you know, it just, it's beyond me how anybody can hear that and not want to go beat somebody up. You, really heard how he felt in his playing. When he was feeling cosmic and when he was feeling good and peaceful, he played just the most beautiful things ever. Yeah. And when he was feeling angry, he just played the dirtiest, grittiest, meanest sounding hard things you ever heard in your life, you know? And guitar players nowadays forget that to play a note that with your middle finger is so important, you know, to be able to do that. When you're pissed off to just to just be able to play like this is a very important thing and uh and Jimi hendrix did it well and apparently the experience really turned him on like some people who were do who would get their dicks cl uh, plaster casted would be really uncomfortable about it and be like oh shit, i hope my dick's completely hard so it looks big to give a good impression uh -huh. but uh jimmy didn't care and he just he just fucked the mold apparently he, he just fucked it and came right in front of everybody.